Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to continue on with three phase. We're going to continue on with the three phase transformers, but now we're going to add a load on there and see if we can calculate it. Now I know that the last lesson was, well, seven videos. Okay. So pretty terrible. Um, we're going to see if we can keep this lesson down to just this one video if we can. I don't know, maybe two. We'll see. Uh, the reason seven videos, because just a lot of stuff to cover uh, in introducing three phase to you guys, okay? Hey, and also, uh, made a little change here. I noticed that uh, on the videos, uh, it was hard to see my calculator, so I made this crazy uh, wedge thing because I noticed that if I uh, tip the it up a bit it's a little easier to see okay it's a little bit more in the light so we're going to try this out nothing but the best for you guys okay all right guys so this is a question from unit 4 handout 2 it will be your homework assignment as well and uh, you'll notice that there's a three-phase transformer here okay with a ratio of two to one and uh, delta on this side y on this side but now i've added a load which happens to be delta the load could be delta could be y doesn't make any difference. Well, it does make a difference. We calculate it differently depending on which one it is, but uh, could be either one. First thing I need to talk about is this. Notice how it says Z. The impedance of this load is 4 amps. Any, or 4 ohms, I should say. Anytime you see that, guys, where uh, it's labeled the impedance or something else, it refers to each one of these resistors, okay? And uh, so this would be 4 ohms and so would this. I just don't want to put it in there four times, okay? But anytime you see information about the load, it will always apply to each of the three loads that makes up the uh, three-phase load. And uh, there's no such thing as, you know, the total impedance of this thing being four ohms anyway, okay? So four ohms, four ohms, four ohms, okay, guys? So how are we going to tackle this? Uh, look at all the information it wants. Um, it's starting out by saying that the line, the primary line voltage is 208, so we're just going to stick that in there. Uh, e line primary, holy macro, 208 volts. Don't like that marker. A little bit too blunt. Let's try this one here, okay, guys? And uh, we're just going to keep going along here. So E line primary is 208, and it wants to know E phase primary. Now, this is delta, okay? So if I have 208 there, you know, what's the voltage here? Uh, it's also going to be 208 because it's delta and also because, you know, if I measure that and that, it's going to be measuring basically in the same spot. Remember, remember, is it bigger, smaller, or equal to? And in this case, it's equal to, okay? So this is going to be 208 volts. Whoops. Okay, and that would be here, right, guys? E phase primary is 208 volts. Okay, and now we're going to go across the transformer. Looks like the ratio is two to one. It's gonna be step down. We're gonna go from here to here. So basically it's going to be E phase secondary. Measure from there to there. And since it's two to one, I'm gonna divide by two. Okay, so this is gonna be 208 divided by two. And that's gonna be 104 volts. And you know, notice that I'm putting it in here, but I'm also like writing it right on the transformer itself. And that's because it's going to be a little easier to follow if uh, you mark it on the transformer or on the drawing itself. It's up to you though. You don't have to, but I'm doing it. Okay. So I've got 204 there and there guys. The question is what is E line secondary from there to there. And, uh, well, it's going to be this 104 plus that 104. So it's going to be greater. So it's going to be 104 times root 3. Okay, guys? Looks like that's 180.1 volts. By the way, this is question number 3 from that handout. Question one, number 1 and 2, I'll let you do them. Okay? All right, so we've got 180 volts here, guys. Here's the load. We haven't done that yet, but we're going to apply, you know, whatever rules I need to apply to this load to figure it out. This is a delta load. So if I'm measuring 180 there, you know, what would I measure there? And is it more, less, or equal to 180? Well, all I'm doing is moving my meter leads a little bit, so it's going to be equal, okay? So now we've calculated our voltage here, 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 and finally here, and we call this E phase load, okay, guys? And we just calculated it at 180.1.
volts. Okay, so now it's asking about all these currents, and uh, up till now, I've you know we haven't had a load on there, and I just told you the current, and we worked it back. Now we're going to actually calculate the current. It's going to be right here, I phase load. So the voltage from here to here is 180, and that's four ohms. So how am I going to calculate the current through that thing? Well, it's just going to be Ohm's law. It's going to be the voltage dropping across that thing divided by, you know, the impedance of that thing, right? So I is equal to E over Z, right? So it's going to be 180.1 over 4 because that's the impedance of that little guy there. So 180.1 divided by 4 equals. Looks like it's 45 amps, guys. I don't know. My dyslexia. 45 amps, all right? And that would be if I measured right there, 45 amps, and that is I phase load, okay? Sorry about it being so small there, all right, guys? Now, I'm going to move over to I line secondary, which would be right here. I'm going to switch to a different color pen, all right, guys? Just so you guys uh, can see my currents here. I line secondary is right here, okay guys? I line secondary. It is the line current coming out of the secondary, but it is also the line current feeding the load. So when I'm trying to figure out I line secondary, I have to actually look at the load to figure it out. A lot of students go, they start looking at this. Oh, that's why, um, I don't know, okay? No, you're gonna work that current back towards the primary I line secondary is going to be determined by the current feeding the load. Okay, guys? And I've got 45 amps here, and I got 45 amps here. So is that current going to be more, less than, or equal to 45? And the answer is more because it's going to feed that 45 plus that 45. So I line secondary here is going to be 45 times root 3. All right, guys? So I'm going to hit this and hit times root three and that's because the load is delta 78 amps okay guys now i phase secondary look it's coming from there so that 78 amps if i look at this it's y it also has to be in the phase because it's in series so this is going to be equal to 78 amps and that would be right there, and that is I phase secondary, okay? And it is equal to 78 amps. All right, guys? I phase primary, so that would be the current, you know, here, right? I phase primary. And it's going to go across the transformer from phase to phase at a ratio of 2 to 1. So this will be 78 divided by 2. And uh, if I hit divided by 2 here, equals, comes to 39 amps. All right, and that would be right here. Supposed to be 39 there, okay? Last one, I-line primary, which would be the current right here. Now, I have 39 here and 39 here, you know, how much is that going to be? More, less, than or equal to 39? Well, it's going to come on here and feed those two. So it's going to be more, so I'm going to multiply. 39 times root 3, all right, guys? Times root 3 equals 67.5, you know, 5 amps, all right, guys? Now, you know, you got to be super careful with these, okay? Because any mistake, well, let's look at it for a second here. So let's just talk about what we've just done, all right? So the voltage at the primary was given to you, and your you know, goal in life, guys, is to figure out the voltage at the load here. Because if you can f figure out the voltage at the load, you can calculate the current at the load. And once you know the current at the load, you're very going to carefully going to work the current back through the transformer all the way to the primary. Okay, and that's exactly what we did. We started with a voltage at the load. We figured out the voltage at this phase so that we could go across the transformer at 2 to 1 to figure out this voltage at the phase so that we could calculate the line voltage feeding the load, basically, and which is called E-line secondary, right? It's the secondary 
line voltage, but it's also the line voltage feeding the load. All right. We use that voltage to figure out the voltage at the load. This is delta, so it's the same, right? Because E line is equal to E phase for delta. And once we did that, we calculated the current at the phase, okay? And that was right here, I phase load. We use the phase voltage and the impedance to calculate the phase current at the load. Then we work that current current back very carefully. Okay, if those two are 45, then this must be 78, feeding those two 45s, that must be 78. We went across the transformer, making sure to divide, because we want to make sure that since this side of the transformer is the high voltage, it's going to have the lower current. This side of the transformer is the low voltage, and therefore it has the higher current. Okay, so we divide it by two. That's the phase current on the primary side. And then we figured out whether to multiply, divide, or be equal to. And since this is delta and that current is going to feed two of those, I multiplied and that should be my current on the primary side. Okay. Now it looks like this question is done. Okay. We've calculated all the voltages all the way through our circuit and we've calculated all the currents back. And that's exactly how we have to do it. Start at the left, move all the way to the right with our voltage, calculate our current, move all the way to the left. With our current now it's super easy to make a mistake here okay guys so if i accidentally you know divide by root three here on our first step because you know i got mixed up and so now i get you know the wrong voltage here well this will be wrong guys wrong 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 this will be wrong 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 and finally freaking wrong all right guys so if you make any mistake at all doing this guys you are going to get the whole freaking question wrong or at least everything's going to be wrong after you know you made the mistake right so what are we going to do about that i'll show you what you're going to do about it okay in the next video come back for video two and that'll be the end of the videos for you know this lesson